and I'm back. I'm back again today with another twice reaction for you guys. Twice I'm back with a Japanese release and I'm super excited. I'm super excited despite the fact that I have been made aware that this does have sort of throwback vibes. Um, I've heard it's City Pop, which um, City Pop is a blend, a fusion of it's a Japanese genre. If you want to wear city pop, it's a Japanese genre. And it's basically a blend and a fusion of Western sounds from like the 70s and 80s. You get a mixture of like jazz fusion, so like yacht rock, um, disco, soul. Like it's all these things meshed together. So um, I assume it's going to have disco elements because one of the most prominent genres within city pop is disco so a lot of disco sort of instrumentation sounds rhythms um mm -hmm. you guys know how i feel about it at this point i'm very very bored of that sound however it's twice man and i'm biased okay what fun is k-pop if you're not biased and you don't love certain groups so much that you don't care what they put out. So yeah, have in mind, I might not fully vibe with the song, but I'm still here to enjoy the MV, enjoy seeing the girls, and maybe I will like it. Who knows? Let's just go. Disclaimer, I don't like to react with captions on as I find them distracting. I like to concentrate on the music and the music production is what I like to comment on the most. When I'm looking at the words at the bottom of the screen, I'm missing parts of the song, their vocals, and I'm missing parts of the MV and choreo. I'll read the lyrics later in my own time. Okay guys, let's go. Twice. Dive. Dive. If you know Victoria Monet, then you know. Uh, twice. Dive. Music video. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm loving this already. We're getting mermaid vibes. Yeah, you can already hear the disco strings. That funky bass. I 
started. Like she was about to kill me or kiss me one of the two um yeah so wait let me get the positive well there's nothing really negative i have to say uh first of all what i loved the most about this were the melodies the melodies were stunning all throughout each moment that and the fact that that melody repeated twice you know me i'm really really greedy and if i like a specific melody or a specific chord sequence or just something um i like to hear it more than once and if it's repeated like it does it once and then again straight after oh i just find it so satisfying the melodies were stunning uh the vocals were stunning as well really soft nothing too much going on um i love the visuals the visuals were so Stunning. I'm really into this sort of um, aqua sort of, but it's almost very, it's quite Y2K, right? It's quite noughties, it's quite that is aqua sort of vibe. I won't say it's um, Frutiga, what's it called? Frutiga Aero? It's kind of like Frutiga Aero, like my intro sort of thing, but like it's better quality, if that makes sense. It's like better quality Frutiga Aero. Is it Frutica Aero? The water stuff. Someone correct, someone who knows their shit. Let me know in the comments, please. Um, if you like that sort of aesthetic, go and check out Seventeen's spell. I promise you, and I promise you, you'll like the song as well. But if you like those types of visuals, like that aesthetic, go and check out Seventeen's spell. And if you do go and check out Seventeen's spell, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, they looked extra, extra stunning. Me not. Me not. And I said, when I was watching this, I was like, bro, Taeyong recently has been wrecking my bias. I can't like, listen, no one, listen, Mina is number one, always and forever, okay? But Taeyong, she's, she's creeping up there, you know? Um, I was going to say as well, I felt like, um... Maybe it was just me, or maybe it was just the visuals. Like sometimes you see people more in an MV than you hear them or something. Um, but I feel like the line distribution was a little bit different this time. I feel like maybe members who don't get as many lines. It's usually pretty even when it comes to Twice. But I felt like I saw like I saw a lot more vocalist Daihan. Like it wasn't just a little rap moment before or after the bridge, right? She got some good, decent singing lines, and I'm here for that. Uh, the song, the instrumental, was boring to me. I cannot lie to you. I've heard that sound about a thousand times. There was nothing new yeek, new, new yeek, new, you, <laughs> there was nothing unique about the instrumental, but also it wasn't bad in any way. It was nice vibes, it was smooth vibes, it was summery but chill. It was in fact city pop, but like I already mentioned, city pop is a fusion of sounds as it is. Uh, so it already has disco elements in there. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'm not going to go and listen to it again. I'm not going to be like, oh, I really need to listen to this. But it was very, very enjoyable. And if you're not bored of these specific sounds, then it's definitely for you. It's a good summer. It's a good summer release. Uh, I don't know when the album's going to drop. Someone let me know when the album's going to drop. And I will do obviously do a first listen for that over on Patreon. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it Subscribe if you haven't subscribed if you have subscribed I love you. I love you. I'm gonna follow me on Instagram guys. I'm gonna follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Love you. Goodbye